It's Monday, April 15th. The electoral bond scheme, described by the Election Commission as one that will have serious repercussions on transparency in funding of political parties, will stay for now. The Supreme Court in its interim order stated that the case will have tremendous bearing on the sanctity of the electoral process and would require an in-depth hearing, which cannot be concluded within the limited time available for the process of funding through electoral bonds to come to a closure. The court asked political parties to give the Election Commission details of the electoral bonds they have received so far in a sealed cover by the 30th of May. It is important to note that the election results will be known on the 23rd of May. The government had, shockingly, argued in court that the voters don't need to know where political parties get their funds from. Here are some questions that the Supreme Court's interim order raises. Political parties who have been directed to reveal details of electoral bonds to the Election Commission can claim ignorance of the donor. After all, the bonds are anonymous. It is the State Bank of India that is in possession of who bought and who redeemed the bonds. The bank has not been asked to furnish the details. The court has ordered that the details be handed over in a sealed cover. But the Election Commission has always been transparent and has published details of funds received by political parties on its website. Which begs the question, why should electoral bond details be given in a sealed cover? The BJP was the biggest beneficiary of the electoral bond scheme, garnering 94.5% of the bonds in the first tranche. The State Bank of India, in an RTI response to Pune-based Vihar Dhruve, said in 2018 it had sold bonds worth 1,056.73 crore rupees in March, April, May, July, October and November. In January and March 2019, the bank sold electoral bonds worth 1,716.05 crore rupees. The sale shows an increase of 62% from those sold during 2018. The Association for Democratic Reform, one of the petitioners in the Supreme Court, said that close to 97% of all bonds purchased so far were in the denomination of 10 lakh rupees and 1 crore rupees, with no demand for bonds of smaller denominations. What are electoral bonds? Introduced in 2017, the government has touted the scheme as a clean-up in political funding. They allow anyone to buy a bond from the State Bank of India and hand it over to the political party of their choice. These bonds are completely anonymous, with no disclosure made to the public. As employees of cash-strapped airline jet airways hit the streets over unpaid salaries, the airline is expected to approach the banks for funding today. There is reportedly a lack of consensus among the lenders' consortium on infusing additional funds of 1,500 crore rupees. In a surprise development, Jet Airways founder Naresh Goel, who recently resigned as chairman and director, saying he was willing to relinquish control to ensure survival of the airline, submitted what multiple news reports say was a last-minute filing of expression of interest for a stake in the airline. The Economic Times reports that the move is said to have flummoxed lenders who have put the equity on sale as part of a rescue plan for the airline. They've asked for legal advice on how to respond to the move by Goyal. French newspaper Le Monde on Saturday reported that French tax authorities waived 143.7 million euros in taxes owed by Anil Ambani's France-based Reliance Flag Atlantic France when negotiations between the Modi and Olan governments for the purchase of 36 Rafale jets got underway. Ambani's company, Le Monde reports, was found to be liable to pay 60 million euros between 2007 and 2010. Reliance's offer of 7.6 million euros by way of a settlement was rejected by French authorities. Subsequent audit between 2010 and 2012 resulted in an additional tax levy of 91 million euros on Ambani's company. In its findings in early 2015, the auditor had refused to certify the company's accounts as it was not sure if they were straightforward and accurate according to French rules. 
The auditor alleged that Reliance Flag Atlantic France was improperly documenting its transactions with other companies within the Reliance Group, a commonly used technique to move transfers to tax havens so that it can avoid a tax burden. However, on the 29th of September 2015, the tax authority said that the company is about to arrive at a settlement of between 7.5 to 8 million euros. Anil Ambani's Reliance emerged as Dassault Aviation's lead offset partner in the Rafale deal, inviting allegations of crony capitalism, as the company had no prior experience in the defence sector and critics say got the contract at the expense of public sector Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Reliance Communications, the Ministry of Defence and France have all denied any link between the tax favour given to Anil Ambani and the Rafale deal. Reliance Communications denied allegations that there was any favouritism or gain from the settlement. It also claimed that the tax demands were, quote, completely unsustainable and illegal. A spokesperson said Reliance settled the tax dispute as per the legal framework in France available to all companies operating in that country. The Ministry of Defence in a statement said any connections drawn between the tax issue and the Rafale matter is totally inaccurate, tendentious and is a mischievous attempt to disinform. Neither the period of the tax concession nor the subject matter of the concession relate even remotely to the Rafale procurement concluded during the tenure of the present government, it claimed. French ambassador to India Alexandre Ziegler said there was no political interference in the tax settlement. A global settlement was reached between the French tax authorities and Reliance Flag, a telecom company, in a tax dispute pertaining to the period 2008 to 2012. This settlement was conducted in full adherence with the legislative and regulatory framework governing this common practice of the tax administration, the statement said. The Election Commission has taken note of BJP's Sultanpur candidate Menika Gandhi's remarks in a public meeting in the constituency where the union minister can be heard making what sounds like a threat to the Muslim community to vote for her or else not to expect any help from her when she is elected. Listen in. But if फिर जब मुसलमान आता है काम के लिए फिर मैं सोचती हूं कि नहीं रह नहीं दो क्या फर्क पड़ता है आखिर नौकरी एक सौदेबाजी भी तो होती है बात सही है कि नहीं ये नहीं कि हम लोग सब महात्मा गांधी के छठे औलाद हैं कि हम लोग आए केवल हम देते ही जाएंगे देते ही जाएंगे और फिर इलेक्शन में मार खाते जाएंगे सही है बात कि नहीं सही ये आपको पहचानना पड़ेगा ये जीत आपके बिना भी होगी आपके साथ भी होगी the minister goes on to say she will know who did not vote for her when she looks at Boothwise details post results. The district magistrate has served a show cause notice to Menaka Gandhi. Earlier, Amit Shah told a rally in West Bengal that the party will remove every single infiltrator from the country except Hindus, Sikhs and Buddhists. The Goa Congress filed a complaint with the Election Commission saying the BJP president's remarks were a grave, intimidating threat against minorities, especially Christians and Muslims, in Goa. And finally, Formula One staged its 1,000th World Championship race at the Chinese Grand Prix in Shanghai yesterday. From the first race at a converted World War II airbase in England in 1950 to this weekend's race at the $240 million international circuit in Shanghai, Formula One has seen 70 seasons in 32 countries across five continents. German Michael Schumacher, who holds the record of seven Drivers' World Championships, has not been seen in public since a skiing incident left him in a coma six years ago. In the last 69 years, more than 20 drivers of the 772 who have started a Grand Prix have died behind the wheel. Two of these were Formula One champions. You speed through the day and meet us at the finish line here tomorrow. Love your morning fix? 
help support our journalism. Subscribe to Scroll Plus using the link in the description.